So, let's say you have every single thing kind of written in. You've got everything recorded, and you want to make this a song. You, you've got everything recorded. You've got all your assets in. Your band is ready to send this out for mastering. You're doing every single... You just need to put it into one file as a track. Most people do this. They go to File, and they'll go to Export, and they'll go to one of these, and they'll see that it saves each track individually and it really it's it's a, it's a big mess so what do you do well before you want to put this into a single mp3 or any kind of folder you want to make or any kind of file rather you want to make sure that this and i don't know what this is called just yet but this green bar is active you want to keep this off during your entire recording though you want to keep it off when you're recording because it'll only play back up till when that ends and you don't want to keep moving it you want to drag it to the end of your song particularly just to the end of your song and I'll say that's right about here the reason you want to do that is when it's going to bounce that's what it's called we're not going to export we're actually going to bounce when it does that and makes this whole track one track it's going to scan the entire measure list all the way to the end here to make sure that you don't have a long silence and that there's more song at the end that it needs to turn into an mp3. So in order for it to prevent that and make it a lot shorter is to make sure that the play is limited to the last measure of your song so it only scans in this much and making your bounce a lot easier. So what you're going to do is you click on File, and this is how you actually save it as one track. You click on Bounce, and it's going to open up this whole thing here. This is the main save. The, everything that you've done is going to be completely saved here. And you can see that you can save it as a PCM, MP3, M4A, which is also ACC, which is really, really good for iTunes, or um, CDDA. I usually just save it as an MP3, which is really, you know, which is just fine for me. Depending on what you save it as, you have a bunch of presets here. A lot of people keep it the same. You can actually switch these. These presets, people don't actually <clears throat> explain to you what these mean. A lot of people just say, oh, we're just going to leave it the same and then click bounce. And then you're trying to find a video or you're trying to find a way online to figure out what this is because you're set up with a situation where this isn't okay, but they don't actually explain to you what to do. So I'm going to tell you what this is. The bitrate mono, bitrate stereo, you don't really need to know exactly what each of these things mean. You just need to know that these are okay to use for your recording. So if you're recording for someone or if you're recording for a band, you need to let them know that this is the bitrate that I'm going to be giving you in MP3 and this is the bitrate I'm going to be giving you in the mono. And the, it, you give them, even if they don't know what the hell it means, it's your professional duty to tell them this is exactly how the how the preliminary track is going to sound so that when you send it into mastering they have some information to give to the masters or the mastering engineers and they can actually master it according to how they need it to, because they need information like this you might not particularly care but as you progress your recording as you get into sending it to other people uh, professionals things like that they're going to ask you for things like this so keep in mind that if it's the default then you just got to look up the default but if you actually do have to change this write things down you know, say that this, let's say, we call this the demo MP3 one, which is this, let's say, this is the first MP3 that we're sending in for mastering. We write down on a piece of paper, we open up like a, a note, a text editor or something like that, and then you'll say that demo MP3 one has a bitrate mono of 80, has a bitrate mono uh, stereo of 160, and actually have this information so that when you need it, you don't, you're not completely lost. So you have everything here. You've got the MP3. I'm gonna I'm gonna save it as an MP3. Go to your bounces. I'm just gonna save it on my desktop. You can save it to your bounces, which is you know which a lot of people normally do. And I'm gonna click bounce. So what it's going to do is it's going to bounce the tr bounce all the tracks into one singular MP3 track, and it's going to save it onto my desktop. Had I not made that green bar stop where the measures ended then this would have kept on going. It would, it would not have stopped right here, and it would have actually scanned all of this, and it would have taken a really long time. So, after you've done that, minimize, and you'll see the track is saved right here.
And it even saves the drum track with it. Of course, I'm not finished with it, and it sounds awful right now, so I'm not going to be leaving this as the final MP3 for it. But that is the basic of how you get things done in Logic itself. One of the final things that people have a problem with is the mixer. People say it's kind of tedious to use. It's kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of, it's just, it's really, it kind of gets in the way because it is taking place of everything that's, that's up here. So the mixer is really for post editing. This right here is going to give you everything you need for that particular track. So if you click on a single track, it gives you the mixer properties right on the left pane here. So you can just tweak each thing. Once you have every single thing Recorded though is when it's time to actually open up the mixer and then keep this open and then start tweaking in a mass Rather than actually going in and then choosing different tracks and tweaking each one of them So if you guys have any questions on logic pro 9 if you are Lost on how to do some of the most basic things ask me. I will do the best I can to find out how to Finish what you need to do and I will put up a video on it. So thank you very much for watching and I will catch you guys next time